Agency in Motion Continuing Education Series. This is a series that's um, dedicated to agents, producers, advisors, agency builders in the financial services industry. Today, what we're going to be discussing, the topic in the center of conversation is how procrastination is absolutely killing your business. We always have that toggle uh, between now and later. The more that we start to pick now and get the, especially that tier one, that top level activity completed, the better our business is going to be. On the opposite side, the more that we toggle over to later, kicking the can down the road, uh, it's going to have negative ramifications for our business that will pile up you know, and compound over a period of time and cause major issues for you and your business. Remember, if you think everything can wait until tomorrow, you just can't tomorrow, 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 then your business is probably not going to have too many more tomorrows. You've got to learn how to get stuff done, uh, be in the moment, having, you know, realizing what you need to do in the moment and valuing that time that you put into your business to make sure that you bring energy, intensity, um, activity, that you're measuring that, that you have targets and objectives. All that comes back with just getting off, you know, from sitting on our hands and taking action. Your vision is there. Hopefully your vision is there. If not, then that's where you need to be. You have to craft a vision that's going to motivate you. But once you have your vision, you start to see that time rolls by, you know, 2021, 2022, 23, 24, 25. These years start to pile up and your rate of speed in terms of getting to your endpoint, your vision, those success metrics is going to be determined by a lot of variables, but one is how well you can have time management, how well you can be organized, and how well you can fight the procrastination monster. You have to get results for your business, obviously, and that's, a, and that's an important part of what we do and we have to understand in the front end of our business, you know, it's you know, all about activity, but at certain points, you have to get the results. That activity is an investment in time, energy, resources, we have to get results for that. And part of that is understanding that uh, our business is not a roller coaster in terms of activity. We have to show up every day. Every day is not going to be great. But we have to show up and put you know, effort into our business. We have to learn how to get ahead in a competitive world. Remember, on those days that you're picking later, other people are picking now. It's a competitive world. It's a competitive industry. Uh, you're in competition against others as well as yourself. So you need to understand that if you're not willing to work for it, somebody else is. So who's going to win? Obviously, the person who's putting the time into this. And you also need to learn how to become a top performer. And part of becoming a top performer means understanding how to get the most out of your day, how to win the most days out of the weeks and months, and how not to procrastinate. The middle and the low performers are not going to have the type of abundant businesses that high performers are able to build. This all comes back to understanding that where your business is going to be a month from now, six months, a year, two years, three years from now is dependent on what you do today for your business. All of those days are rounds. And the more rounds you can win, you have a better chance at winning the match or the battle, the war, whatever it is that you want to call it. You have to concentrate on continuing to you know, load up the front end of your funnel, the top of the funnel. Remember, there's no middle or bottom parts of the funnel unless there's enough coming in the top. So you cannot procrastinate, kick the can down the road about being seen, being heard, marketing, networking, doing all the things that you need to do to create those two things for your business, awareness and education. And you need to understand the flow. You know, you have data that becomes interested parties, that becomes leads, that turn into meetings, that produce outcomes. And those some of those outcomes produce growth, revenue, income for your business. So you need to understand the flow of your business and understand that if you're not doing enough at the top, there can't be anything coming out the bottom. It all starts with you. And so that's what you need to understand. Building a business from the ground floor, it starts with you because not only are you going to get it off the ground and get that traction, but as you're building the business, you become an example for other people. So if you're leading the way, your business is going to you know, have positive impacts from that. If you're not leading the way, you're not leading by example, it's going to have negative impacts on your business. We've used this example before, but I think it makes a lot of sense. When you look at yourself and you look at your activity, your production, your results over whatever time period that you want, 
you know, short, medium, long term. If you were a publicly traded company, would anybody want to invest in you and your company? Well, that would depend on you on a downtrend, if you flatlined, or are you making progress and creating that uptrend in your business? Remember, look at yourself from an outward perspective sometime. What did I do today? You know, if you know, if I was my own boss, how would I rate my day on any given day? So this is it, guys. You're killing your business with procrastination. Think about if we were trying to grow like a money tree and every single day you came out with an ax and just took the ax to the money tree. What's the probability that's ever going to grow um, and, and be some type of a healthy you know, tree? It's not. So what you need to do is you need to remove that ax and understand that ax is procrastination. And every time you procrastinate, you're taking a little whack out of your business. So how exactly is procrastination actually killing your business? We're going to talk about the problems today, and we also want to talk about the solutions. Remember, procrastination creates poor performance. If you're constantly kicking the can down the road and constantly putting things off till tomorrow or next week or making deadlines that are in the future so that it allows yourself to justify those excuses, you know, your performance over you know, the short, medium, and long term is not going to be good. So the solution for procrastination creating poor performance is to give yourself more time to take the baby steps. So when you're looking down the road and you're trying to accomplish X, Y, Z for your business, it may be too overwhelming. It may be too big of a goal. You don't remember, you don't want to water down your goals, but you need to be able to break your goals down into smaller compartments so that you're able to you know, realize those shorter metrics, take those baby steps. And the combination, the culmination of all of those baby steps over a period of time is actually going to lead you to your goals. So understand that, yes, you're trying to get somewhere, but you need the intermediate instructions and the baby steps to actually get there. And that's what you need to be good at, designing the steps that are going to lead you to your business goals. Also, procrastination creates roadblocks. Think about it. If you're constantly procrastinating and not doing the things that you need to, it starts to pile up. And as it starts to pile up, it becomes stressful for you and those create roadblocks. So what you need to understand is if you're breaking things down into smaller compartments and baby steps, you're avoiding these roadblocks because as you're starting to accomplish those little baby steps, you're able to give yourself self-encouragement. Hey, we did great today. We accomplished this. We're leading towards our goals. And that over periods of time really starts to build uh, self-confidence and character and allows you to become a leader and tell people you know, how to get to their end destinations they want. Remember, you become what you constantly feed your mind if you are breaking things down, accomplishing smaller goals, giving yourself self-encouragement, that has huge ripple effects for your business. Procrastination creates less than a stellar image. Remember, you, you have an image. You have an image to the outside market, You know your prospects. You have an image to your clients, to your partners, but you also have an image to yourself. So you know, what is it that you feel about yourself? And are you doing the necessary things to build the self-confidence or are you procrastination, uh, procrastinating? Are you kicking the can down the road? And are you creating a negative self-image of yourself? Because once again, how you see yourself and what you, what you feed your mind continuously and constantly is going to create, you know, your profile and your persona. So you need to build a team of accountability. That starts with you. You need to build, build accountability, be accountable to yourself, and you need to share what you're trying to do with other people. Remember, it's a lot easier to break that accountability or not measure up if you just kind of promise it to yourself. Promise it to other people and then build a team around accountability and watch what happens. If you remove procrastination from your build out of your book of business or your agency, the velocity of that uh, build out you know, picks up speed, and then also who you attract into that book of business or that agency um, also increases as well. Procrastination creates unsatisfied clients and partners. So just like we were just talking about, hey, you know, people see you a certain way, including yourself. If you're constantly not doing what you say, constantly not meeting your commit, uh, commitments, constantly procrastinating day in, day out, how can you have a business that's got satisfied clients and partners? You're not going to have raving reviews. People are going to start to feel like they can't count on you. And when people can't count on you, your business is going to implode. 
So a, a way to kind of overcome that is get back to your mission, your root. Why is it that you're doing what you are doing? Yeah, you have personal goals and we understand that everybody has, but you also have a mission. You also have an impact that you're trying to make. And when you can get in touch with that mission, get in touch with that impact, put the needs of others ahead of your own, it will help you in the process of, you know, killing off the procrastination kind of demon that's within us that's constantly telling us to kick the can down the road, do this tomorrow, do this after this vacation or this holiday. So what you need to understand is the mission will help you break through that. And then procrastination is going to cause burnout. Think about it. if you're not doing what you need to do every day, and then all of a sudden you have a negative self-image of yourself, you have poor performance, your clients and your partners kind of, you know, hate you, so to speak, you know, it's going to cause uh, cause physical issues, it's going to cause mental issues. And then the overwhelming stress of all of this stuff coming from every direction is going to cause you to uh, drift and then immediately quit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start something else all over again because you haven't fixed yourself. And you go through the same exact cycles uh, over and over and over again. So reward yourself. Remember, if you're breaking stuff down, if you're getting stuff done, if you're coming with, you know, intensity in your business for short spurts at a time, really going at it with maximum effort, then reward yourself. Hey, you know, not only do you feed yourself positive thoughts and images, but you also reward yourself inside the day. If you're breaking down your day, it gives you the opportunity to reward yourself more often or on the opposite side, you didn't do so well reset on a quicker motion and then procrastination creates fake goals think about it think about if what you do during the day is a whole bunch of stuff that probably is not the most important to your business remember you have the tier activity that tier one activity is income producing activities but if you're like making a post or sending an email or doing all this other stuff you may think that you've accomplished a lot in the day but what you've been is busy and not effective procrastination kind of creates mirages. Hey, I did a lot today, but really, did I do anything today? So what you want to do is weigh your pros and cons of everything you're doing. What I'm doing right now for my business, is it the most important thing that I can do for my business? If it is, great. If it's not, you need to understand and tier the activity because the top tier activity, the stuff that you don't want to do, the stuff that's most uncomfortable, if you get that done every day, great. And then if you get the tier two, three, four, whatever you want to call it, activity done. Awesome. If you don't, not a big deal because you got the most important stuff done. So procrastination itself is not the sin. It's the indicator. It's going to allow you to kind of have a leading indicator and a red flag waving, hey, you've got trouble up ahead, right? So it's not exactly the sin itself. It's the indicator of what's going to be happening. So what you need to understand is Realize that self-discipline needs practice. Any skill set that you're going to pick up is going to take time, energy, resources. It's going to take you know, some practice. So what you need to understand is that self-discipline, your brain wants to continue to do whatever it's done every single day. The brain loves repetition. So if you can get your brain in a great cycle of repetition based on self-discipline, then your life, business, and personal is going to have huge rewards for that. Another way that you need to fight procrastination is don't schedule that most hated task for the end of the day. We we're just talking about this. Tier your activity and that stuff that you absolutely know that you need to get done to build your business, get it out of the way. Because if you say, hey, I'm going to do this at four o'clock, I'm going to do this at five o'clock, maybe four or five rolls around and something else is going on, you can't do it. Or by that time, you've kicked the can so far down the road that now, you're okay with kicking it into tomorrow. And then tomorrow leads into next week, next month. And all of a sudden, you don't have anything on your calendar. You don't have any revenue or income coming into your business. You're not going to want to continue. Also, you need to take feelings out of the equation. So you have to understand, yeah, we are emotional creatures dealing with your prospects, your clients, your partners, as well as yourself. But you need to understand that if you allow feelings to constantly creep in and make emotional decisions about everything, just like we tell our clients, you need to make data-driven decisions. Same thing here, um, you know, getting rid of the emotions, getting rid of the feelings and just knowing what you have to do and just, you know, kind of putting your shoes on, so to speak, and going out there and doing it is what it takes. And you need to find your motivation, finding your why. So what's going to propel you? There's two sides of that. Number one is your personal goals. And number two, like we were just talking about, 
is the mission. The combination of both of those things should provide you with the motivation to get up and move towards your goals. If it doesn't, something's wrong with either your personal vision or the mission. If both of those two things combined is not motivating you to take action, there's a problem there. And you need to avoid and be aware of distractions. So we know there's so many bells and whistles going off, you know, social media notifications, emails, text messages, everything's going crazy. If you're one of those person, people that at any type of notification picks up your phone, that throughout the day is going to add up to a lot of wasted time. Put the phone away. If you're doing something for important for your business, do it, concentrate on it, be in that moment. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by every little notification that comes through. And then take more breaks. So this sounds weird when you're thinking about being successful and building a business, but breaking the day down, you know, coming with energy intensity for an hour, taking 15 minutes off, coming back for another hour versus just sitting in the chair for seven or eight hours, it's a lot different. And if you do one and then do the other, you'll know exactly what I mean because you feel better, uh, the day doesn't seem to be so much more of a drag, and you're getting more done and feeling more enthusiastic about the process. You can use a specific approach to time management that will help you with procrastination. So just like we've been talking about tiering the activities, think about your day in terms of the bookends. So this right here, the middle of your day, the most time for your day needs to be spent on the most important things, the income producing activities, like we talk about, probably the stuff that you want to, don't want to do, the most uncomfortable stuff, that's the stuff that's the meat of your day. The bookends are the opposite stuff that, hey, if you get it done, great. But if you don't, knowing that you got the most important stuff done, that's okay. And then you always need to think ahead. Remember, procrastination uh, allows us to kick the can down the road. Don't kick the can down the road. Think about the future and think ahead in terms of what am I accomplishing now? How is that going to lead into more accomplishments? How is that going to lead me to getting to my goals? And how is that going to build the business that I want, um, that my partners want, that is going to benefit my inner circle, going to benefit my clients? And you need to make a pledge to yourself. If you find yourself constantly procrastinating about things in your life, make a pledge to yourself. Understand that. Kind of hockey check yourself. Understand your weaknesses. Understand your strengths and address your weaknesses and find solutions for those. Self-discipline is going to create true confidence. So we always talk about there's always choices in life. You can pick your pain. Self-discipline or self-regret. Self-regret weighs a ton more than self-discipline. You've got to be mentally tough. You've got to understand how to fix yourself. If your business works, if your industry is working, you just need to fix yourself. And then the last thing I'll leave you guys with today is that you know, self-regret, like we just talked about, weighs a ton. So a lot of self-regret comes from the fact that we didn't take action in the moment. So you don't want to look back five years and think about, hey, we could have been magnificent, but I was afraid. In five years, I want to tell of how fear tried to cheat me out of the best thing in my life, and I didn't let it. Remember, you're in a constant battle every single day. Understand where you are. Understand what you need to do to get where you want to go and what the cost of that is, either in the moment are the cost of that regret, not achieving it down the line. Agency in Motion, continuing series, how to operate, build, and manage agencies in the 21st century, brought to you by Millionaire Mindset Life.